Hey everyone, welcome back to iNeuronics.ai. Today we are diving into an exciting new model released by Google, Gemma 3. I'll be showing you how to load and use Gemma 3 completely for free in Google Colab. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand how to work with this model, uh, but you'll also build a simple code explainer tool using it. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, let's visit Hugging Face official website by just typing Hugging Face on Google search. We'll be getting this particular link. Cool. Uh, when you search Gemma 3 over here in the search bar, you'll be getting the model available in different parameter size. As you can see on the screen, it is available on 27 billion parameter, 12 billion, 4 billion, 1 billion parameter. So we'll be loading it on uh, Google Colab. So therefore, we'll be using 1 billion parameter model. So therefore, we are clicking on this one. Cool. Uh, this is the base model trained by the Google. It can be used for a wide variety of tasks such as text generation, code assistance, chatbots and AI assistance, summarization and many more. However, since this is a base model, sometimes its output might not be perfect. That's something to keep in mind while using it. For this video, we'll be building a simple code explainer using Gemma 3 to automatically explain Python code. And if you want to read about model, you can read it from this particular readme file. And as you can see, you can read about the description. And uh, if you want to become familiar with what all inputs it can take, what, what all output it can generate, you can use this. As you can see, we have uh, 8192 token limits in Gemma 3. All these things are available in this particular readme file. And if I talk about files, all these files are available for Gemma 3. As you can see, we have uh, uh, tokenizers, we have a model.tensor. Uh, this is a Gemma 3 model with 1 billion parameter. So if you want to load it, you can click on use this model. This is sample code available using pipeline and you can also load the model directly. So with this particular statement, uh, you can uh, log in with hugging face access token. So let's move to Google Colab and uh, get started. Let's open Google Colab and load Gemma 3 model step by step. You can open Google Colab by just typing Google Colab on Google search. This is the link. Cool. Uh, you can load your uh, new notebook. I'm uploading the notebook that I have prepared. It's uploading. Upload it successfully. So first of all, you need to change the runtime to uh, T4 GPU over here because as we all know that for running all these LLMs, we want powerful GPUs. So in the case of Google Colab, you should have T4 uh, GPU, which is a free uh, a version of uh, GPU available in Google Colab. So I'm clicking on connect uh, with T4 GPU. So it is connected successfully. So first of all, I'll, I'll log in into my Hugging Face account using my access token by just running this particular uh, piece of code. So over here, I'm adding my token from here. I'm going towards settings and access tokens. I'm taking the token. I'm pasting it over here. All set. Uh, then I'm installing the Transformers library with the uh, uh, Gemma 3 in it. So if you have any questions from where I've written this particular uh, statement, so you can go to the uh, model card of uh, Gemma 3 model. This one. So I've taken this particular statement from here. Now, uh, library is successfully installed. So I'm importing the libraries. I'm importing a torch. I'm importing order tokenizer and Gemma 3 for causal LM from transformers. It's running. It is successfully uh, imported. So now I'm loading the Gemma 3 model. So I've taken this particular model ID uh, from here. As you can see. From here, I've taken the model ID. Or 1 billion parameter model. So then uh, from where I've taken this particular code, I've taken this particular code from here. This is a piece of code that I've uh, taken. So 
let's run this it's loading the model as you can see uh, model dot tensor is of 2 GB similarly if I'll show you over here we have 2 GB of model dot tensor available in files and version cool it's loading Gemma 3 model is successfully loaded so now I'm defining the function to generate a code explanation this is something different that I'm doing uh, from this particular a uh, piece of code so over here what I'm writing this function takes a python code uh, snippet as an input and generate an explanation using Gemma 3 model explain the following python code in simple terms uh, this particular code I've written and uh, then I'm tokenizing the input and uh, I'm moving the model to the device. It means I'm running this particular uh, tokenizer on GPU. So that I'm getting the length to extract only the newly generated tokens. Then I'm um, generating the explanation using the model and then we are decoding the output. So let's run this particular function. And uh, then I'm uh, simply writing the code, tap it, import number as NP. Then I've created an array, then I've taken the mean of that particular array let's see what will happen so i'm running the function so let's see the output as you can see this is a base model as we all know that the code above calculates the mean of the array the mean is the average of the elements in the array the mean is calculated by adding all of the elements of the array and dividing by the number of elements in the array so cool enough uh, so what we did over here first of all we load the gemma 3 model from hugging face uh, then we define a function explain underscore code that takes a python snippet and generates an explanation we provide example snippet using numpy and generate its explanation finally we display the output and uh, now uh, when you will run this code gemma 3 will uh, generate an explanation for any python script we input and uh, and that's it we successfully loaded gemma 3 in google collab and build a code explanation tool using it if you have any questions or face any issues, let me know in the comment section below. I'd be happy to help you. Uh, you can use this particular model to solve wide variety of use cases. And let me know in the comment section below what application you have created with this particular new model by Google. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.